Scary Mysteries, Twisted News, Florida Fishing Buddies, and Philadelphia Killer. Despicable and haunting, those are the words best used to describe our stories today. Every week, Twisted News brings you two cases that are making headlines around the world today. And for this episode, we'll explore the chilling murders of the Florida fishing killings and the possibility of a serial killer who's currently on the hunt in Philadelphia. Get ready for Scary Mysteries, Twisted News. Number 1. Florida Fishing Killings When three friends set out on a fishing trip, they never even considered that it might be their last. 23-year-old Damian Tillman, 27-year-old Brandon Rollins, and 30-year-old Kevin Springfield drove out to Lake Streety for an evening of fishing on July 17, 2020. Beforehand, Tillman had gone shopping at a dollar store. According to the clerk, the 23-year-old mentioned his plans, adding that Springfield would be joining him. Unknowingly, this conversation was overheard by T.J. Wiggins, who was 26 years old, his 21-year-old brother Robert, and girlfriend Mary Whitmore, who was 27. Wiggins is certainly no stranger to crime as he has a whopping 230 felony charges on his record and is known for his violent reputation. Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd said that Wiggins believes Springfield had stolen a truck from him. After Tillman left the store, the brothers followed him and what ensued after resulted in a grisly scene. It was every father's nightmare as the three were being attacked Rollins managed to make a call to his dad. He only had enough time to say help. His father rushed to the scene knowing where they were headed and saw his son and friends beaten and shot. The three were already dead before the paramedics arrived. Deputies then retraced the steps of the three men. After reviewing the surveillance footage from the dollar store, they called in Wiggins' brother. It was a chance sighting according to Robert as he went on and told investigators that as he was driving, his brother directed him to follow Tillman's truck. When the 23-year-old stopped along the roadside, Wiggins confronted and assaulted him while Robert and Whitmore stayed in the truck. Shortly after, Springfield and Rollins arrived and tried to defend their friend. According to Robert, this is when his brother pulled out a gun and started shooting at them. After killing all three men, as if nothing much had happened, Wiggins and his companions headed to a McDonald's where they ordered 10 double cheeseburgers and two chicken sandwiches before heading home to eat. Three days after the murders, detectives visited Wiggins and Whitmore's trailer. According to them, the couple were living off the grid and had no running water. They found multiple weapons and ammunition in a safe, and because he was a convicted felon, deputies had grounds to arrest him for possession of a firearm. Both Robert and Whitmore have been charged for their connection to the killings. Allegedly, Robert tried to get his truck cleaned the day after the murders to remove bloodstains. A Florida crime lab confirmed that the ammunition found in Wiggins' trailer matched the ammunition from the gun used in the killings. According to investigators, Whitmore was seen on surveillance, accompanying her boyfriend, buying the ammunition shortly before the murders. As for Wiggins, He was arrested and charged for first-degree murder, tampering with evidence and possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. Sheriff Judd, who has worked with the department for almost 50 years, said, I've been through a lot of murder scenes in my life, and this ranks among the worst I've been to. Number 2. Philadelphia Killer Recently, rumors have been sparked online that a serial killer may be running loose on the streets of Philadelphia. Three bodies were discovered in just two days, and according to Your Content News Network, this could be the beginning of something sinister. However, a Philadelphia Police Department spokesman assures the public that there is no evidence suggesting the murders are connected. To begin with, a passerby found a suitcase near Bartram's Garden in southwest Philadelphia on the afternoon of July 14, 2020. The two-foot by two-foot suitcase contained partially decomposed skeletal remains. The victim appeared to be an unidentified woman, 
and the suitcase was left in the vicinity of a small neighborhood and could have been easily accessed by children. According to Philadelphia Police Lieutenant John Walker, the remains were a horrifying discovery for everybody involved here. The second body was found a day after the first. This time, officials say a building owner on the 1900 block of Mount Vernon received complaints about a terrible smell coming from his building. At around 9.40 a.m., he went to investigate, and upon entering the building, the smell was unbearable. It was then that he found the body of a man wrapped in a blue tarp. Captain Jack Ryan of the Philadelphia Police Homicide Department said, we don't know his manner of death other than it's clearly under suspicious circumstances. Drug paraphernalia was found at the scene of the crime, but investigators are unsure whether drugs were a factor in the victim's death. To add to the city's growing fears, a third body was discovered off an I-95 off-ramp that leads to Allegheny Avenue in Port Richmond on the same day. Just two hours after the second body was found, Pennsylvania State Police responded to a call reporting a suspicious person near the I-95 off-ramp. When authorities arrived, they found the body of a man that was left on the ramp. Police are still working to identify all three victims and determine their cause of death. The allegations that this is the work of a serial killer stem from an article published on the Your Content News Network website. The article claims that the three murders have two things in common. The victims were all brutally murdered, and there was not an effort to conceal them. Written immediately after the bodies were discovered, the article referenced an expert who believes that a serial killer is responsible for the murders. Reportedly, one of the sources is a former federal agent who has worked on multiple serial murder cases, including the infamous Zodiac Killer. He told the news site, You have three bodies, all of which were left for police to find. When someone commits such a brutal murder, they don't leave the body in clear sight unless they want to get recognition, build a name, get some sick reputation. That's what people like this live off of, I'd bet my last dollar another body will appear. Social media users, especially on Twitter, expressed their fears and worries about the possibility of a serial killer, but police were quick to dismiss the rumors, saying that it is probably not the case. While all three deaths have been ruled suspicious, a police spokesperson laughed and assured the public there is no serial killer. According to investigators, the crime scenes of each victim are very much distinct. Nothing was connecting either victim, as they were different genders, races, and ages. Investigations are still ongoing, and the identities of the bodies remain a mystery. Whether it was a coincidence or a plan concocted by someone evil, there is no way to know at the moment, and only time will tell. So those are two disturbing cases happening in the world right now. Stay tuned for next week, where Twisted News is sure to fill you in on more shocking stories. If you like this video, then hit the notification bell and subscribe to our channel. We have new videos coming out every week on Wednesdays and Saturdays that we know you'll want to check out. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you soon.